In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a login name from Skype. Now, just to make you aware, certainly with Windows 11, you must always have one login name there. Okay, so that's mine. So that is Alan Dixon with my email address there. So that's my personal login. But if I was to add another account, you'd have the other account potentially sitting there and you might want to remove it. Now, why would you want to remove it? Well, maybe you've been logging into here on a work computer or maybe in like a public place and you don't necessarily want your Skype login to stay there. Well, let me show you how to remove it. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sign in with my um, with my business account just to uh, just to show you. All right, there we are. I'm logging in. That is me. All right, I've logged in. Let's move that down. I've logged in. Okay, so these are people that I actually I don't speak to them. They're all they're all scammers. They're all spam bots trying to get me to give them money no doubt anyway so this is my skype and i'm going to sign out okay i've decided i've done my business on skype i'm going to sign out so i'm just going to go to sign out and i'm going to click sign out i'm going to click on sign out and remember by mistake so i've clicked on sign out and remember and it is now kept my skype login there and also the personal one that's already on there but i don't want this one to stay here, I want to remove this. I left this in by mistake. Now, I was reading on different forums and websites that the only way to do this was to uh, uninstall Skype, which I thought seemed a little bit extreme to uninstall it, download it, and reinstall it. But there is another way, and the way to do it is simply to log into this account again. So I'll click on the account, I'm logging in. There I am with my scammers trying to get me to give them money. And once again, if I this is very simple to do, if I simply sign out sign out and sign out and forget it now removes it from the list like i say in windows 11 certainly you must always have one in there there's no way i can't find any way of removing this one in fact i'm just going to log into it just to show you sign out sign out sign out and forget and it still sits there as well. So there's nothing you can do that about that one. But if you have multiple, you can see that the way to do it is just to sign back in and then sign out and sign out and forget. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll be giving you lots more hints and tips on how to use different pieces of software. Like the video, comment down below. It all helps. Thank you very much and enjoy signing out and forgetting about Skype.